here uh it's a little bit of a surprise stream today uh and as you can probably see i'm starting a new game sadly <laughs> all right i forgot my little intro i'm still thinking of another intro because um my the oc that is getting designed should like with the uh, the artist that a commission for it i'm guessing they're gonna be starting with it sometime soon probably like at the start of the uh, the next month or mid november um so since i'm gonna be like a completely different character i should start getting like another what you call it uh so we're for it intro because before i used to say or like right now i can still say uh today i decided to be cute couple here kind of thing but uh later on it's gonna be like i think a little bit different because of the character that i'm thinking of having my own oc um, but I guess we can still use that for now, or maybe just keep going with just like, hi. <laughs> hi, what's up dudes? Gamers here. Uh, so yeah, today I have decided to start like a new game. Uh, it's a bit of like a surprise stream because normally I don't stream this day, which is Sunday. And, uh, the thing is that I wasn't even planning on playing Silent Hill till like much, much later. Oh wait, I forgot, I completely forgot to bring out chat. I wasn't planning on playing Silent Hill 2 until much, much later, probably like, I don't know, December or way past like December, maybe like next year. Uh, but well, there were a couple of things that uh, kind of making me start this game like right now. First off, uh, I've mentioned this a lot of times before, but I like to like watch a couple of people like streams, I'm, like supporting other streamers, quote unquote. Uh, and especially on games like this that have like a lot of puzzles and stuff like that and i like to actually help out yesterday i was watching somebody play little nightmares 2 and i tried my best to try to help this person while still letting them like finish off the puzzles uh by themselves by like giving subtle hints or trying to be as subtle but still being like helpful kind of hints although sometimes i was failing on the uh, on the helpful, helpful part uh but uh and there's like another streamer that i'm also watching that i often really uh hang out in their chats like a lot and play video games with them on stream of course uh but uh funny thing is that yesterday they were talking about how they want to like broaden their horizons and play more games and i was just like yeah i'll be here and i'll be supporting you on any game that you decide to play and then they say oh and the next game that i'm gonna play is silent hill 2 and it's just like oh ah shit because I know this game. I, I've watched like the original. I never played it because I, did, I never had like a PlayStation 2. Or I didn't play like the other like uh, that remaster or like whatever the HD version that they released uh, some time ago, which is was still like the old game, but with like um, like HD graphics. Uh, and I know that Resident Evil 4, like the Resident Evil 4 remake, actually had like new stuff added to the game and i'm not sure if that's the same thing for this silent hill so i wanted to experience this game myself play the game and finish it but here's the deal i really dislike spoilers or like if there's if something's gonna like show up with a jump scare or something of the sort i wanna i wanna experience it firsthand i don't want to know that there's like a jump scare coming and that's probably gonna happen like a lot in this game in terms of with like the puzzles with the things that they've added to the game because i've noticed that the uh the, the camera is now very resident evil 4-ish or well resident evil in general and uh i'm pretty sure that they've made like a lot of changes to the game so i wanted to experience all of this uh for myself and the issue is that uh since i don't want any spoilers or anything of the sort then i wouldn't be able to actually watch the streams of these people that i'm watching which is really a shame especially because yesterday i was talking about being always being there at the very least no it's like always being there just like being active not just like lurking so that's why i'm starting this game today and without further ado i already set up a couple of like 
settings, uh, I actually ended up turning on whatchamacallit. I might have to turn ray tracing off, sadly, because of the graphics and stuff, my, all that, the performance of my PC. I have a single PC and uh, I have like stuff open in the background and stuff like that. My GPU is getting, uh, is very high on the percentage of like usage. So I might need to, you know, turn off ray tracing because this is probably the thing that's like taking most of the power. I did turn on DLSS, so I, I, I'm hoping that will help. And I'm, I put it on balance. I might have to put it on performance though. Um, to actually keep my FPS up. Hopefully, hopefully everything will be fine because there's like a lot of fog in this game. So I'm hoping that the game doesn't have to load that that much uh, in terms of like, you know, assets that are farther away and that the performance is like really good for this game. I know that apparently there's a couple, there were a couple of bugs on release, but uh, when I bought the game, it said like there was like a patch uh, that they had released the patch, so I'm hoping that some of the bugs, or like most of the bugs, are actually fixed. What else did I actually turn on? I turned on something over here that was like an accessibility option. Not this, though. Where is it? Controls, language, and text. Not this one. Not this one either. Accessibility. Gameplay. This one, I turn on interaction icon visibility. I can't remember if the original head uh, game had it, and but I turned this on as well as this, just so that I don't, I at the very least can get an idea of places that I can actually go to. Even though they already have like this to kind of show that you can actually fall through the window or whatever. And but the important one is probably going to be this one, or just like the icon visibility. Somebody said that there was like an easy mode for puzzles. I'm gonna try to like not play with that. Uh, so I hope I don't get too stuck on puzzles. New game, combat challenge. I don't know if I should go for, for hard. There's a puzzle challenge hard? Oh. Hmm. The 90s. That's cool. I don't know if I should go for hard because I know this game can be really, really tough. The default settings special present the vision behind Silent Hill 2. See the settings below for more uh, for more fine grain control over the gameplay. You can find more options, including accessibility, in the settings menu. There's somebody that I, I really like to watch. Um, so let me check that out to see what they actually ended up choosing for difficulty. Um, view full playlist, part one, mute their video. They actually went with hard. Maybe I should give it a try. 34 parts for the game. Actually, give me a second. Let me see what the reason why they decided to go for hard. I'm going to have to mute desktop audio. Oh, hi, Ariel. How are you doing? How did your rank games the other day go? I hope they went well. I hope you got a lot of like W's and I hope you're Sunday or Monday in case you're uh, on the other side of the world. <laughs> I hope they went well. But hi, hi. Thank you for coming by. All right. Uh, turn the desktop audio back on. I don't know. I'm having like a tough time choosing this. Also, difficulty setting affects the content of the game and cannot be changed mid playthrough. Uh, it's a toughie. I might just go standard. <laughs> just so I'm able to actually finish the game. I usually play games on hard, but I know this game can be really, really tough. And there's like boss battles in the game as well that can be kind of cheesy. Or like really really difficult especially uh if you don't have enough resources but that's on the old game i'm not sure how it's gonna be for this game so i think i'm just gonna go for standard standard instead of just going for like light maybe i should just go for combat challenge hard ah it's it's such a difficult choice i usually always play games on hard but i don't know if this is if this is a game that i should be playing on hard hmm Thinking, thinking, thinking. I 
gonna look something else up. Stone Hill Two. Four years ago. Standard? Yeah, I think I might go for standard. Enemies and bosses have more health and their attack patterns are more aggressive and hit far harder than normal. Extremely challenging due to vague and enigmatic hints for puzzles and riddles. Total hints to provide an even challenge for puzzles. Yeah, there's no way. I'm, I've been like a big gamer in a very long for a very long time, but puzzles can still be combat hard. You recommend combat for uh, hard and puzzles to remain uh, to keep them on standard. Hmm. Let's give it a try. Let's hope that I don't get bullied too hard. <laughs> I mean, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. Remember that this option can be adjusted later in the settings menu. Common difficulty if I really am having an insanely hard time dealing with the bosses and the enemies, I can still change it on the settings menu. But for the puzzles, they cannot be changed mid playthrough. That's probably like the big difference as to why it's like uh as you said, like hard difficulty? Yeah, I do. I do, but I, like I also said, I'm scared because of how old games were. I don't know if the remake has made like a couple of changes to the controls and to like the, um, to the resources. It should be better experience. I'm free from Valorant. Hello, ghost. How are you doing? Nice to see that you're free from Valorant. To the, that hellhole that it is, the grind that's called Valorant. Yeah, let's go with this. Also, if the game is too loud, please do tell me so I can just like lower the volume at the very least on OBS. <laughs> I think I have like a lot of like settings or like filters that can help with uh, what you call it with the volume of the game. So I'm um, hoping that it's not going to be too loud if it ends up being loud. You're stuck playing Fortnite now with cousins, so you go from one hell to another. I'm sorry for your loss, ghost, <laughs> but at least you're playing with your cutscene, so that's nice. You're not by yourself, like alone. I see that my game is 30 FPS right now. I wonder if it's just cutscenes. Um, hopefully it's just cutscenes. Also, I've seen a couple of, uh, whatchamacallit, screenshots of this game, like the ones from the Steam store, and this game is so damn beautiful. They did such a good work with the remake. Like, <sighs> I am a whole... Well, I'm not, it's not like I'm hoping, but it's like, ah, uh, this game should be quite an experience. Not gonna lie. Because it's like a, I'm not sure if I'm using this word correctly, but this is like a very, very classic. I don't know if it's like a cold classic. So we don't even know what cold classic means, but Silent Hill 2 has been like, it's probably like the best Silent Hill ever. <laughs> um... Everybody that like, likes this game. You even got informant so much that I'm level 200. Mary. Nice! Could you really be in this town? I can't remember if that is that the level of like the battle pass or is that normal level? I could probably make it to 300 if I don't do anything all day. Like today, going from level 200 to level 300? That's crazy. That's so much gaming. Too much gaming, if I didn't say so myself. <laughs> I remember grinding games like that back in the day. But now I focus on other games and such, so... Restless dreams. I see that town. I don't quite do, uh... Silent Hill. Play those games as much. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place. Man, oh, I Can love the music in this game. There's like little guitar, like sound that they make. There's like another like song that has this that's very very classic for like what you call it for like Silent Hill. I hope they played on this game. Man. 
It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. You just lock in and win that's... every day. Well, that's some confidence you got there. <laughs> I, I haven't played that game enough to have like. I don't think I can have that confidence for like any game. Oh, damn. Also, Dan the Dan, I've heard some really good things about it. I watched the manga a long time ago. What could she be? I know it's pretty good. I should get back into it. This whole town was our special place. Could Mary really be here? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? All right, I think I'm about to gain control over the character. So it's time for the big revelation. The game runs perfectly. Well, it doesn't run at like 144 frames, but it runs at like 90. Well, if I'm looking this way. Also, going from the cutscene into the game, like I'm pretty sure the cutscene was like pre-rendered or something of the sort because, or like, I don't know. They did something with the cutscene because it was at 30 FPS. And the moment that I gained the control over the character, it went back to 90. But the, uh, the transition between cutscene into the game was beautiful. It felt... It, it was just like too good. It felt seamless. That's the word for it. Also, I turned on like the uh, the dot in the middle because it says that it helps with motion sickness, and I usually get motion sick a lot um, if the camera is like too shaky and stuff like that. So I'm hoping this will help me. You have played Fortnite since season five or season one? That's a long time ago. How do I run? That's dodge. That's turn. 180 turn, very classic. Uh, all oh, right. It doesn't show the button. On the observation deck. So I need to go through the graveyard into the Silent Hill Ranch, towards Nathan Avenue. There's all oh, there's. I have only played a single. What you call it? Press up to open the map. I've only played a single Silent Hill game. It was a game on the Xbox, and I think its name was Homecoming. Uh, it was like the last uh, Silent Hill that came out on the Xbox 360. The game was okay. It wasn't that big of a deal or like as good as like Silent Hill 2 or maybe like Silent Hill 1. But uh, I mean, it still retained a bit of like uh, the, uh, the Silent Hill-ness. Do I hold to run? No. How do I run? Oh, there we go. On the run button. Any loots? Oh, right, 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 right. If this game follows the original, uh, I won't be getting my first weapon until much, much later. I need to get into Silent Hill, then go into an alley, and that's when I'm going to encounter like my first enemy, and then I'm going to grab a pipe. And that pipe is going to be my best friend for a very long time oh somebody on the reviews for steam also said this but one of the biggest fortis fortis or strengths of uh silent hill is its ambience and i gotta say that they are 100 percent right it's like walking through the woods on this like fog infested town is really creepy because fog just like completely trashes on your visibility you're not able to see very very far and so you'll never be able to tell tell what's like behind the fog that's okay that's the sound of me walking on dirt also a lot of movie, uh games had it where you actually i know a little bit of like lore of silent hill Yesterday, with one of the streamers that I was talking about, uh, that I like to, that I like to watch, <laughs> uh, they actually had like a watch party for the Silent Hill movie, and it made me remember a lot of. Does Silent Hill have any bears or wolves? I don't think I remember that from the lore. Uh, I also don't remember enemies of the game growling at you, so that's not a very nice sound. 
uh, I remember a lot of like things from like the Silent Hill games, and uh, one of the lower thing is that it's based on a real life, um, what you call it? It's based on a real life town. And I think it was called Centralis from in Pennsylvania. Uh, so it's r really cool because apparently that town's like completely inhospitable. Or it's like uh, it's like in hospital for like a very long time, kind of like Chernobyl. You know how Chernobyl is just like. Uh... It's impossible to actually live in Chernobyl because of the radiation. Something like that supposedly happened with Silent Hill or like Centralis. Oh, this is the save point. They said something about autosave being a thing. But I guess there's still like save points. I'm thinking of lowering the uh, the audio a little bit because I think it's a little bit loud for me. Should be fine. Did it save? Did it save? Okay. Let me just check, check something real quick. I should move this a little bit just so I can see everything. There we go. All right. Back to silent healing. Uh, playing this game actually makes me so sad. I can just walk into it. Oh, cutscene number two. Cutscene number two. Hello, lady. Uh, who are you? Excuse me. <gasps> oh, sorry. I, I was just. Hey, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? I think so far there isn't like any difference from like the original. I do remember there being like a cutscene like this right on the original. Um, yeah. Uh huh. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. All right. Thank you. I guess. Thanks. But I think you should stay away. I mean, I also agree, but um. This town, there's. I don't think I have an option to actually just run away. It. And it's not just the fog either. Is it dangerous? Maybe. Oh, it is going to be very dangerous. It's kind of hard to explain, but. Mm -hmm. Be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just. I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. Mm. He's got to find his wife. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm looking for... Someone. Someone very important to me. Me too. Oh? I'm looking for my mama. Oh. I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought... My father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry, it's not your problem. No, I... Uh... <laughs> so awkward. Yeah, yeah me too. Uh, thanks. Can I leave now? This is really, really awkward. <laughs> Back to the game. She's still here? Yeah. I still talk to her. Did you, uh... Did you want anything else? Uh, no, it's just... This fog. Does it seem... Unsettling to you? I guess. Um... It's just through the gate and down the path. You'll get there in no time. Good luck finding your... Let's exhaust the dialogue. Looking for. Yeah, I... Uh... Uh, thanks. I should probably get going. All right. So this game is the type of game where I can actually uh, throw a lot of like dialogue options and characters. And uh, in order to get all of them, you're going to have to like exhaust it by just like talking to them over and over again. Unless, you know, the uh, the dialogue loops for some reason. But uh, I should um, be careful about that so I don't miss any, like, lore. It's probably closed. 
I see the foliage. Shh, man. The fog is really, really thick. Fog isn't really too common over here where I live, but it has happened a couple of times where in the mornings there's like fog. And it happened once when I was living in um, someplace else where I was doing my, whatchamacallit, my internship. But it was never like this thick of a fog. And it's always like really, really scary because you're like driving and you never know when a car is going to be coming. And if that driver is driving like the other car is like, uh, you know, driving safely or like driving very, very dangerously, you know, maybe maybe they're late for work and they're like rushing uh, through the road. So it's like very, very scary to just like think about getting into an accident like that. That's another the reasons why I don't really like fog. It's just like very, very scary what might be lying past the fog. Uh, because right now we literally cannot see anything and there's like a lot of sounds going on around us. There's things creaking. Somebody stepping on twigs. And there was like that one growl over by the forest. And we're like not even inside of Silent Hill yet, but like really inside of Silent Hill yet. We're at the ranch. I'm pretty sure that Silent Hill starts probably like past Nathan Avenue, but I can't remember. Hmm. But another of the things that I've done uh, on Silent Hill is like, uh, this is really, really popular. If you play Left 4 Dead, then you might know that there's like a, a Left 4 Dead modded map for like Silent Hill and it's really, really well done because the uh, the puzzles are in the game where you need to find stuff and it's not just like get to point A to point B, which would be like a safe room to safe room. You actually need to find stuff, complete puzzles and stuff like that. It's a really, really good map. If, uh, if you do like uh, Silent Hill and you like Left 4 Dead 2, or like left for that one i highly highly recommend uh to find some friends and play that game or like that map it's really really good it's a lot of fun back when i was in school i had this like friend and we used to play that map like once a year it was just that good but if i remember correctly Sounds like this thing is beating, it like it has like a beating heart. Kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Auto service and tires. I lost my train of thought. What was it talking about? What was I saying about the map? Auto parts. No items. Huh. Uh. Oh, here. Went to town to get the window fixed. Spare keys in the drawer. All right, thanks. I guess. Uh, Hello. Anyone in here? I'm gonna guess the front door is locked. <sighs> okay. The volume for his voice was very, very loud. So I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna get jump scared soonish. Auto service and tires. Auto key. Press that button to open the inventory. Auto parts key. A key found to in the workshop best auto parts. When I can take it out to investigate. That's cool. And yeah, this thing was closed. Hmm. I'll save. Never a good sign. It is never a good sign. There's like a bunch of like sounds that it, it seems like they're actually like inside of my house. Screw me out even more. Like a lot, couple like creaking sounds. What the hell is that? Oh! 
Oh? Okay, 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 okay. Since the audio is still kind of loud for me, give me a second. I'm gonna lower it just a tiny bit more. I know this part. Uh, I guess the alley thing is from another game. I think it might be from Silent Hill 1. But, uh, yeah. This is it. Um... Hello? Aren't I supposed to get attacked here? I guess I was wrong. I do hear a couple of weird sounds coming from in there. Maybe they changed this part of the game? This is the very, very scary part. Because the fact that they changed a bunch of like things from Resident Evil 4, for example, I can't remember the name of, uh, I think it's Luis, like the character the, that helps you in Resident Evil 4. I think his fate changes in the remake. As well for Carlos in Resident Evil 3, his fate also changes, like the lower changes of the game. So I don't know if I, if it's another game where you get the pipe in an area that's like that, but uh, if it was supposed to be on the original and it got changed, then that means that there are a lot of things that might have changed on this game. And uh, that means that I'm going very, very blind into it. It's not bad, but uh, it's kind of scary. Because <laughs> who knows? Maybe a monster is going to come up from uh, the forest over there and it's going to give me a big scare. Or am I? Going to Welch Road. I'm going to guess this is just going to be very, very straightforward where I need to go. Exploration shouldn't start until I'm truly inside Silent Hill. It should be like the next area. Road work ahead. Yeah, no exploration yet. Just telling me to get into Silent Hill. Okay. Can I fill in some shells? Which is not very nice because I'm already getting creeped out. I can't remember, is this game the one where you get attacked when you get to the radio? Not the radio, to the diner? And you get out like a radio? I can't remember, there's way too many Silent Hill games. Ah, here's the town map. Feels kind of weird for the cutscenes to be 30 FPS. Rich Silent Hill, enjoy your stay. Ah, oh, thank you. How nice of you. Oh. American Cafe, Texan Cafe, Gonzalez Restaurant. It might be there. That in one game, you get attacked by some bird enemies and you get a gun. Blue Creek Apartments, Happy Burger, Salt Street Apartments. Then I had to go to all of them. East out of South Vale. Let's head left first. Just to explore a little bit. Yeah, now the map is like open. Now you can explore in different areas. And here's the best part of the game. The map updates. And it doesn't get updated, updated uh, in an, a natural way. It's like you're actually, like your character is actually pulling out like a red pen, and it's actually just like marking areas that are blocked off. It feels natural. Oh, that's good. Just some blood. Can I go in? I can. Uh, read. Miss Cassandra, a customer came in today, ordered a mixed bouquet, red and white. I tried to explain it's bad luck, but he couldn't decide on just one. He seemed a bit off, looked at me like I wasn't even there, then he just left. Did he go back? Uh, he said he'd be back to pick him up later. I just wanted to let you know, since I might be gone by then. Hmm. 
flower shop message. Ew. I hate bugs. There was just like one scene on the Silent Hill movie where the school uh, there were like a bunch of like bugs and they were like eating people so who knows looks like blood Ugh. sounds it was really creepy I didn't like it at all <laughs> since I had bugs and since that experience I had with roaches anything around here no Okay, let's start, he start heading left. I should be getting into another cutscene because I, I have like no direction right now. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh yeah, this is this is the direction that I need to uh this is what I need to follow. More of that stuff. It's probably blood, buddy. It's probably blood. Can I go into the restaurant? I cannot. Uh, yeah, I think they shouldn't have. <laughs> That's a very, very crazy paper bag. It's got some, uh, some physics on it. Yep. There he goes. <laughs> Here's more of it. It should le lead me into an alleyway. It should 100% lead me into an alleyway. Guess I'll be finding out soon. Oh, cutscene. Yeah, uh... The thing does look creepy. And that is gonna be our first enemy. Hey! Wait! I guess it looks like humanoid enough for you to not, like, get an idea that it might be dangerous or it might be something that's not actually like human. Uh, uh, these are not very nice sounds. Please stop. <laughs> kind of creepy. More blood. Now where's this alley? Okay, that's blocked off as well. Yep. There it is. The famous Silent Hill Alley. Where's music? Voice over UI. Let's lower the music a little bit more. Maybe I'll just go down one by one. We can sound down by one. Because they still seem kind of loud for me. I have a feeling if they try to actually throw a jump scare at me, it's actually gonna hurt my ears, so... Better safe than sorry. It's not because I'm scared of anything. Mm. Hm. Watch this game enough times to be able to uh, not be scared by the things that they're gonna be throwing at me. The enemies are still really, really creepy, though, so... Uh, don't remember this. Like, at all. There it is. Hello? Uh. But is it really a good idea to be running towards this thing? Like walking towards it? I mean, don't you see this? Or the weird sounds that it's making? What if it's like some wild animal? What if it's a guy with rabies, huh? Do people with rabies growl? Actually, I don't know. I just know that whenever people have like rabies, uh, they get like this phobia of water. And that's about it. Look around for objects marked with, by white cloths. Those objects are transversal and you can interact with. So this? Yeah. You know, probably not the best idea to crawl into a random garage. Uh. Oh shit. Because <laughs> I'm going back that way. Okay. 
from gamer to other gamers here's a very very big recommendation that i have always have on games where you have like this like manual saves always have multiple saves i always make five saves at the very least in case you get stuck somewhere like you don't have enough resources or something gets glitched or there's like a random bug that just like doesn't let you go forward it is very very important to have multiple saves just in case you need to go back and if you need to go very far back then that's why you make five saves I think there was a point in time or you can just keep doing new saves into new saves into new saves it's not like back in the day when you play with like the GameCube or the PlayStation and you had like very limited I'm sorry you had very limited limited memory in your memory card but like it's no longer like the thing uh, I think that happens any loot oh nutrition supplement I think this is a healing potion. Health drink. Uh, I do wonder why they're giving me a random health drink. And maybe I'm about to fight something soon. Perhaps. I don't remember this at all. Yeah, this is completely different from the original, right? This is not where you get your first radio. Or like your radio. And if you played the Silent Hill games or know anything about it, you know that that sound is not good. <sighs> Phrase yourselves. I'm not gonna skip it. There it is. Zippers? I don't remember them having zippers. All right. Looks like the plank is going to be my first. RT to attack. Nice. Whoa. All right, I do remember that I need to step on them before actually, uh, before they die. It's like the important part, stepping on them after they're down. Yes, it is. And it is very damn tanky. <laughs> very, very tanky. I didn't take any damage though, so that's nice. All right. Board with nails. You're gonna be my best friend in this area or in this game until I get an axe or a pipe. Always trust the pipe. No radio sounds, so I guess I'm safe currently. What is this? Syringe. Hold triangle to use a syringe. I don't think I want to use a syringe randomly. What does it do? Restores vitality by relieving pain. Highly effective. Okay. It is it is healing. So yeah, I might as well not use it. It'll be a waste. Sheesh. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what this person is saying. Usually they live in James. If I remember correctly, that's the name of our character. I was only able to pick up a single thing and that was James. Give me a second. Taking a couple of things real quick. Right. Let's 
continue on. This is what I was talking about when I mentioned that I, I didn't want to get spoiled on the game after I found out that there might be a couple of like difference in the game. That whole scene of uh, finding the radio, getting your first weapon and stuff like that, I didn't know anything about that. So it is a pleasant surprise that there might be a lot, and I mean a lot of changes in the game. Enough changes for me to actually not know much about the game. It's just like think that I'm actually playing this, like I've never seen anything from like Silent Hill. A person? Doesn't look like the other things. Uh, are you okay, buddy? Bar Nellies or Neelys. Press triangle to open the map and check new information. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Like you saw him take out the, like the map and the pen and then scribble on it. Uh, my controller rumbled a lot. It's uh, it's not a good sign. It's probably another one of those enemies, and they're like right next to a save point as well. Ew. <laughs> Ew. That gave me goosebumps or like shells. Oh, they move in such a creepy way. Blech. Blech. Good house. Okay, two more saves. Also, my controller keeps rumbling on save points. Hello? Oh, there you are. Jesus, that thing's so damn creepy. I see another enemy over there. That's where I need to go. I'm gonna head this way first. Might find something over here. I, th I think something aggro to me. What is it? My character took out the uh, the plank, so... Is it in there? Hello? Can I get a flashlight? Alright, I'm gonna break this window, and then I'm gonna turn around, and hopefully I don't die. I'm gonna try again. In March of 1965, the town of Silent Hill was visited by the Maine Physical Research Association. After the examination, a team of expert dowsers from the association concluded the areas around the now historic Wilkes coal mine to be highly, act highly active. They also expressed their hopes for further research and exploration of the gorge. These hopes, however, were never fulfilled due to the location being restricted as a historic nature preserve as declared by the Silent Hill Historical Society. Additionally, the idea was met with resistance from the local community, which claimed that the nature of the association's research would hinder tourist activity in the area. Questioning the credibility of uh, our research and hiding behind date trippers seems like an excuse to prevent us from seeing what's really out there, commented one of the research researchers. Unfortunately, none of the local rep representatives were available to comment on the matter. Editors note, at the time of publishing, there exists no evidence supporting credibility of radius Dacia, for providing effectiveness on of any dowsing methods. Opinions expressed in the article do not reflect the author's views. Huh. Now, if I remember correctly, the uh, the thing that happened to Silent Hill was, it happened because of, there was like a mine, and uh, I don't know what happened. There was like an explosion or something. I don't know. But whatever the case, it just made the town uh, inhospitable. And it's impossible to just like do anything in town or like live there or go there without like i don't know what is this is it at the top i'm going in okay easy enough oops <gasps> whoa 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 
Of course there's an enemy coming. Stop it! Stay down, stay down. Is it dead? I think it might be dead. One for good measure. Right. <sighs> nice. Uh, I don't think they got done with the laundry. Super strong, super clean. Wash away the stains of yesterday. I don't think they worked. Anything in here? Was this place like a full-on bait? There's nothing here, just two enemies. There ain't even loot here! Bro! Just wasting my time. Could've lost health here. Where should I go? Let's check this way. Before it gets up, before it gets up. Whoa! Come on. Sheesh. No more radio sound, so I'm safe. What the hell was that? This thing was placed here to bait you into trying to kill it, and then while you're trying to kill it, another monster shows up from under this car and tries to hit you? Bro, that is smart, but fuck you, game. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you for trying to bait me like that. Let's check the cafe. Anyone home? Any flashlights? Use. Uh. Whoa! Enemy. Gotta get out of the corner. No, 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 no! Sheesh. How's my health doing? How can I check my health? Not that. Not that. Personal? Mary's letter and a photo of Mary. Equipment, wooden plank, and a radio. Turn off? Hell no. <laughs> that thing stays on forever. Maps. I guess I just gotta pay attention to the character's uh, state of being. Like if he starts like panting a lot or something like that. Anything else? Was that it? Just the coin. It looks like that was it. All right. Now we can continue with the story. And if I remember correctly, there's another enemy somewhere around there. So I should be careful. If I can evade the enemy, that'd be great. You don't see me. Can I go into the... I think I just have to kill it. You know what? I'm just gonna kill it. Nice miss. Whoa. Shikes. The enemies in this game try to be a little bit too sneaky. And they try to counter attack when you're not expecting it. Because at one point it counterattacked me the moment that I, third, uh, I did my third hit, and then it counterattacked me as well when I did my second hit, and then it tried to counterattack me when I did a single hit as well. There's another one there. There's a cafe to the right, right? Big J's. It's this place, Big J's. I'm gonna have to kill this guy first. Oh, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Should be dead now. Whew. Can I go in? I can. Two health rings. I seriously hope that there's no limit to the amounts of health items that I can get or grab. What's oh, outside? That's good. The man was here again. I told him he'd be warned not uh, he'd been warned not to come here. And I felt like he didn't know what I was talking about. Anyway, he got up and left. He didn't make any sort of fuss, but there's something about him that gives me the creeps. When I look at his face, it's like I'm staring at a mask, and there's something underneath waiting to get out. I don't want to be there when that happens. Creepy. No! I screwed up. Yeah, this is what I meant with the uh, the damage thingy. Like, the, the outer edges are, like, red, so I probably took uh, quite a lot of damage. I took two hits, though. Only two hits. I should probably... It's just triangle. Yeah, this should help me. Any loot? Maybe behind the counter? I don't think I can get behind the counter, though. Hmm. Can I go out of here? I can. Dead right? Yeah, you are. Good. Okay, where do I need to go? Oh, this doesn't have, like, a, a check mark. Does that mean that I missed something? Let's hog the walls, just in case. Please stop. <laughs> I do not like that music. I really, really do not like or appreciate that music. It's really creepy. Maybe something over here. No, there's an enemy out there. Maybe this picture? This photograph. As this song goes. Need to head left. <sighs> there's two. If I can avoid both of them, that'd be great. Uh, ex instead, I think I aggro both of them. Or it seems like they're gonna keep on spawning because I killed an enemy right there and then two enemies spawned. So I should not fight all the enemies that I find. Hello? It's probably one of those roach thingies. Yeah. There we go. market keypad yes i love this game i love those details like it marks it with a big line hello it marks it with a big line and then it just like writes keypad which is really cool it's like an actual person is writing those notes that's oh, one of those crawlies come on I know you want to jump at me. Hush, man. Come on. Bite me! Or not. Friendly? Got it. It looks great, by the way. The sizzling, and how it looks like the black, black blood that it spits out, the vomit. The boomer vomit. Silent Hill Tavern. Should we do the left? Here's the bar. Alright, please don't come over here. I do not want to fight you, if possible.
I don't know what got into him. He just started smashing the thing. I had to doodle him out. He ran off. Quite hit to fix everything. I gathered up what I could. Still haven't found one of the buttons. Half the record is still lodged inside, but the other part's missing. Here he must have taken it. Come to think of it, he did run towards Groovy. Anyway, maybe go check up on him, see if he's alright. He lives over at Seoul, by the pharmacy, apartment 9. That's where I need to go now. Give me a second. We go. I mean, curious what you, uh, in case you're curious what I'm doing, I'm literally the only thing that I'm doing is just like throwing out support on Discord. The coin. Okay. I was about to say, can I really open the door with the coin? Just an old jukebox. What the hell happened to the disc? Is that how discs are supposed to be? Or did somebody break that? Select. Yikes. Groovy music stereo. Something home. Broken vinyl record. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see what I need to do. I understand now. So the thing that they were talking about that was broken was the vinyl record. So now I need to go to Groovy Music to get another one and probably to Soul Apartments as well because of the other dude. Now the question is, what should I do first? Hmm. We probably, probably should go to Solo Street Apartments first. I can stop by Happy Burger, uh, and then I can go all the way back, go towards the Lucky Jade restaurant because I didn't actually look into that place, and then go into Groovy Music. That's the plan. Where do I need to go? Straight ahead. Did it aggro? I think it aggro. It definitely aggro. Let's try. Die. Sheesh. I want to see if there's anything over here. An enemy, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna hit. Ow. Crap, I took a hit. It's not good. Seems I can still go this way. Oh yeah, I definitely can still go this way. I should wait and not go over there. It's probably gonna tell me to go there um sometime soon. I have a feeling it's gonna tell me to explore this. Okay. <laughs> it's probably gonna tell me to explore that area later. That's oh, locked. 
Not locked, but it's blocked. This place is blocked as well. I can probably... Oh, here it is. Yeah, I can break a window and get inside. There's no way there isn't an enemy in here. There's absolutely no way this place is empty. Has to be behind the counter. Oh, hi. Found you. Making sure. <laughs> Making sure. You never know. Oh, looks like I could have gone in from this place, uh, from that spot as well. Just crawl space there. Right. There it is. I knew it. I knew. I knew this thing was gonna stand up. That's why I tried to hit it before it actually got up, but it didn't deal any damage. Hey, hey. Okay. God damn it. That's bad. Getting really greedy with the hits. To use the syringe, it looks like it took a lot of hits. I think I'm gonna have to use the syringe. Kinda sucks. Better safe than sorry. It's been a long, uh, I haven't saved for a while and I explored a couple areas. I don't wanna die and lose all my progress. That really suck. Plus, I just got another syringe. Good to know. Anything else? There should be something else. Is there another enemy? Doesn't look like it. I don't know. I'm kind of scared because it seems like... <sighs> It's not marking it with a check mark, and it did mark this area with a check mark. So I'm scared that I'm missing something. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know what it can be. And I guess if I miss something, then I just missed it. There's nothing I can do about it. It sucks for me. And though I'm trying this hard to actually explore around the area. Man. Area is blocked off. Right, solo apartments are to the left. But it should go all the way to the back. Towards the cross between Saul Street and Harry Street and see if there's anything else over there. Um, other than an enemy, of course. Hey, buddy. Sheesh. You annoying little crap. I'm getting a little bit too overconfident on my attacks, and I've been doing all like those extra attacks that are getting me hit. Should be more careful. I'm losing a lot of health and a lot of like healing items. That's not good. It's an enemy. I'll go over there in a bit. Let's check the apartments first. Oh, it's just a little bug. Might as well kill it before it actually sneaks up on me. Get those little guys. Shh. Soul apartments. Uh, give me a second. Personal, key items, memos. Apartment 9. So I need to go to the third floor, and it's the big, big apartment. Should probably check in here. It's not. 
There must be a way in there. Inside? Yeah. Any enemies over here? Doesn't look like it. Arm in five. Apartment 5 left his key. Says there's a leak from upstairs. Gotta check it out. Apartment 5 leak from upstairs. I'm gonna guess that the stairs are gonna be locked and apartment 5 might connect to apartment 9. Okay. I think I know what I need to do. Game, can I get a flashlight? It's like darkness feels really, really creepy. Do not like. Do not like. Hmm. Learn a syringe. Front door is locked. Oh. Revel mid, barrel min, sopracinax. Imat Nelime Total four hundred and fifty one. It's a lot of meds. This way open? Nope. Nope. Alright, then to go upstairs. To get to apartment five. Of course there's an enemy up here. That's a bug. Here we go. Apartment 8, apartment 7. There's a crawl space on apartment 7. Apartment 6. Nothing on it. Ah, this is why I cannot get to apartment 9. The stairs are broken off. Does that look like it's leading me to the attic? Apartment 4, anything around the corner? Doesn't look like it. Crawl space there, like shimmy space. Apartment 5. Uh, I should probably check over here first. Because this is probably the side area. I'm certain now it's coming from that apartment. I keep telling them, but when they do something, it's unbearable. I can feel it sipping into my skin, pushing itself into my lungs. What is? Fog? Smoke? Oh. I don't know what they're talking about. Can I go through here? Nope. Nice of them to leave the key there. Now, I cannot get into apartment 6 or apartment 4. There's a way through there that leads me to the outside. So maybe I go in here and instead of going downstairs, I can go through there, which leads me over there, which will lead me up through the fire escape. Perfect. Now, there hasn't been an enemy in some time, so there's probably going to be one soon. Should be ready for it. Might come out from like the corner. Cutscene. Uh I don't think that's a good sound. I think I might have found the enemy that I'm talking about. <laughs> I think it's upstairs. Room number nine is fairly big so it does have enough space for there to be an enemy and you being able to actually fight it i mean it's nice of them to can I drop this i can't 
Nice of them to put the enemy on like a big room because if it's on a small room, it can get really, really awkward. Like inside the diner, I wanted to fight a lot of the enemies in. Uh, I wanted to fight the enemy in a very, very large area just in case I needed to dodge a lot. I wonder how many times that I can actually spam dodge. Shit. Whew. Uh, and then she came and washed it all away. It all started to make sense again. It's this place. I can't fight it. Gotta get my head straight. Quick stop at Texan. Then we're going. Quick stop at Texan. I really went there. There's music though. What was that? That was a gasp! There's no one here! Are they inside the walls? I'm inside your walls. That's not a good sign. <sighs> really? No, 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 I'm not searching. At the very least, not yet. Yikes. They were talking about a smell. Ew. What? Ink? Blood? Can't see anything. Is that apartment 9? What's apartment 10? Can't get through. That's apartment 9 though. I need to get there. Wait, it's a little right here. What do you mean I need to get there? Anything out here? A way down? <laughs> oh, okay, I forgot about that. Okay, okay, okay. Whoo! Thankfully, the game doesn't have fall damage or anything of the sort. I'm not gonna go through there. I do need to search that spot. Uh. Right. Why don't they eat damage? Wish me luck. <sighs> A two. Oh my god, the bass on this music! Oh, it's 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 a little bit too much. I might have my bass for my headset a little turned up a little bit too much. Okay. Down I go. Oh, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Uh it's not a good sound. I don't hear the sound of the radio though, so maybe I'm safe. I thought that I was hearing some very, very heavy footsteps, but I think it's just this. Alright. I need to go to Groovy Music. Should I explore the left? There's no way through the left. But there might still be something at the edge. I need to check it out. Are you dead? I think you're dead. Can you open this? Is this openable? Don't think so. There was an enemy over here. Yeah, there it is. Road closed. I don't see anything, but there might be something over there. Might as well. <laughs> what? It moved into it! Okay, I need to be a little bit more careful. Whoa! There we go. Hey, 
heal up a little bit. I think I hear another enemy back there. I do need to find the code for that key. Keypad. That's the word that I was looking for. So I still need to... Look at different areas. Uh-oh. That was a miss. Okay, that one was a good one. That was a good fight. Now, what's in this camper? This place, all it's ever brought me is pain and misery. Yeah, like to all of us. Place flipping sucks. I think there's supposed to be some like lore connected to this place where this place is supposed to be hell. Either hell or some sort of limbo. I'm not sure. There's a bunch of like lore that make them. It doesn't really connect the games together. Flipping hate that music. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really connect the games together, but it brings out like some knowledge of what Silent Hill may be, how it like brings it, its victims and what's going on, like why there's like log, why everything's like logged. That this is like some sort of like I don't know different dimension from normal, because there's, like, there's supposed to be like no way out from here, like all the roads are like blocked. Just continue on straight. There's no point staying here. Can I hurt an enemy? Oh, that was me just stepping on the puddles. I still need to go to Gonzalez restaurant, but I think it might tell me to go there. I'm gonna go there now. <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna go there now. I'm kind of scared that uh, after I'm done with the jukebox, it might throw me into like the next area. I think I still need to travel to the next area though. But still, I want to be careful. I don't want to miss anything in the game. If possible, I want to get the most... Uh, I want to get the highest percentage of like items from the game, as in like you know, uh, lore, or like upgrades that I may find. Where's the enemy? I do not see it. An enemy is hanging up, so it might be one of those creep crawlies under the truck. No, there it is. No, that's not it. Where is it? You will see sooner or later. Yeah, I knew it. It's gonna shoot at me? That was bad, that was bad. That didn't kill. I got really greedy for that head. Okay, what was I gonna do? Check the inventory. You will see sooner or later. You will see. Check from oh oh oh. Check from zero 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 to four oh one three. Took almost two two hours. Had to run. Flip. Check from four oh one four to four four three nine. Had to run again. I feel like I'm so close now. I just know it. It's the keypad. There's something on the other side of this flip. What is this? Is it a shape? I don't think it's a shape. What am I doing with health items? One health ring, two syringes. I think I'll wait, take another hit, and uh, use a syringe. Or maybe not. I have a feeling that if I find like a boss enemy, it might just hit me for a lot of damage. Oh, it's one of those creepy crawlies. Come back, creepy crawly. There you go. 
Uh, I feel like the boss may hit me for like a lot of damage and it might put me into like the second state of damage immediately. Uh, so I do, I should be keeping like syringes on me. Yeah. I'll just take a drink. Gonzalez restaurant, I cannot get to it. Keypad is on Grand Market. I guess this is going to be trial and error. Okay, yeah, so the game runs really, really well. It doesn't actually load things that may be too far, but that are completely like unnecessary that you're not going to be seeing sometime soon. It does uh, start loading at them when you get to like a certain point on the map. Like, for example, uh, like right here where the line is, where it's just like jukebox on that line, it started loading like the area all the way over here. So that helps a lot with performance helps a lot it's like it's like one of those games that is actually going to allow me to ha be on like high settings stream have my vtuber model uh let me check if there's something wrong with you okay since it's like everything's okay no drop frames or anything uh my vtuber model as well as uh have like ray tracing on which is pretty cool i've never actually played a game with ray tracing on like Vlad myth wukong i think i turned off ray tracing on that game did i miss it i didn't uh, I think I turned off uh, ray tracing for the game. Okay. Flip it. Four, four, three, nine. I start from that one. Four, four, zero. Four. Four, four, one, four, 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 two, four, 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 four. I should have guessed. <laughs> I should have been my first guess. The rumbling, though. Dude, this rumbling that the controller does quits me so flipping much. Give me a second. There we go. I hope there's more stuff. Penguin cartridges. The hell is this? Oh, hand ammo. She just, you know, read. More ammo. Anything that I can grab from here. Doesn't look like it. Music is so damn creepy. I hate it. I really, really hate it. Looks like this is just a place that if you actually run around and uh, figured out the solution for it. Uh, you can just get a lot of loot. Another one. Yes. So I got a bunch of like handgun ammo. More handgun ammo. Can I go out this way? I can. Oh, hi. One me, one me, bro. What is it doing? Why is it growling? Nice, got it. A little bit of patience goes a long way. Lucky Jade Restaurant. Can I break a window on the back? Nope. This corner? Nope. I looked around this area. I don't think I have. What is that? Is that a creepy crawly? Oh, I see it. There we go. Sheesh. I can't go in there. All right. I get it. I get it. 
I'm not gonna try to go farther in it. Uh, there's an enemy over there. But it seems like it won't come out if I don't aggro it. Not that way. There's another enemy over there. Oh, it actually did aggro to me. Fuck! Uh, it should be dead soon. There we go. Got it. Anything back here? Anything at all? You're gonna stay dead, right? What are they? I shouldn't go through. I don't know why I won't. They don't stink, but it feels like they do. No smell at all. Flip. Nothing. I knew it. You cannot trust down the enemies in this game. You can't. You simply can't. They're like <sighs> necromorphs. Whenever they're down, they're like lying. Unless you actually completely like see its item pop out of its body. That's like the only time where you can tell that it actually has is dead. We gotta leave. Meet me there, Texan Cafe. Nothing. And so there's an enemy back here. There might be an item here, so I'm gonna try to trigger it. It lives blood! That's kind of cool. Nice, I can go for a third hit. Nice. Oh, CC. Anything here? Uh, it was a complete waste of time. God damn it. But at least I didn't get hit. Righty. Go to the crossroads and then make a quick left turn. And then keep on walking until you go to the uh, until you reach your destination, which is the groovy music. Ruby. Sheesh. I think I heard a second enemy over there. So I need to be careful. If possible, I want to drag this enemy over. Okay, now. No! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! There's another enemy. I need to hurry up and kill this guy. Please die! There we go. Oh, making sure! Sheesh. Break windows to make a passage. Where is it telling me to do that? The groovy music shop? Somewhere out here. This does not look like it has an entrance. Anything over here? No rewards for finding two enemies? How mean of them. Usually you give me something. That's the first time they've thrown two enemies at once. Mm -hmm. There it is. I'm gonna check over here first. All right, there has to be an enemy back here. Creepy crawly. Creepy crawly number two. And that's nice. Can go in there. Nothing around the trash cans, dumpsters. Nothing back here. I think I'm doing pretty good in terms of like held items. 
three and two. Yeah, I think I'm doing really good. Even though there's like car mode. I think this is just the case that uh the door that wakes in darkness opening into nightmares. Uh can I try and open this? I can't. The door that wakes in darkness opening into nightmares. This door right here might open when it turns into nighttime. There is a chance that that door might open in nighttime. Enemy. Inside. Inside. Where are you? Multiple enemies. That's bad. This is pretty bad. This is like a very, very small area to be fighting these enemies. So I had to be extra careful. No, it actually did hit me. This place sucks. This place sucks! Okay, got one. Or did I get one? I need to kill this guy first. Okay, got it. Now I can finally fight this guy. Finally! Jinner came in the other day, drunk and in tears, had half the record with him, kept yelling we gotta fix it somehow. I was willing to do it just to shut him up, so I got up and uh, to get the glue from the cabinet, but then he realized he only had one half, so he ran out. Um, can't do much about the record. Maybe ask around that Nelly's next time you're there. Maybe one of theirs. I forgot to flip it. Investigate. Flip. Nothing. I gotta find it though. Where is it? Oh, back there. Open sesame! Okay, glue. And the other piece of the record. Open inventory to combine items. Combine this, this, and this. There we go. Long way home. Although I'm gonna start guessing that whenever I, the moment that I put that in and turn on the jukebox, um, there might be a bunch of enemies coming in. That might be the spot where I get the gun. Music can bring you back to those wonderful moments you thought lost. Oops. Now, please, no more two enemies at once. Seriously, it's so bad. The American Cafe. Can I really not go in there? Baby's closet. Jewelers. I finished looting the Grand Market. Yeah, I just haven't gone into the American cafe. Or have I? Definitely gone in here. Yeah, what the hell? That's weird that it doesn't have any markings. Oh no, that's the Grand Market. It's over here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just can't get in. Oh, now it's marked. I just needed to, you know, use the door. I pretty much killed all the enemies in the area, so I should be safe to just run around. Big shoot. Here we go. It's right here. Okay, very important. Save. That's wrong button. And that's my last save. Now I should start moving towards the bottom. There was a hole in here. It's gone now. What's that mean? record uh at number two I can't remember which one it was uh insert coin it was a2 p2 I can see it. C2. Okay, there we go. Whew. Hmm. Um. Oh, there we go. Mr. James, do you perhaps know this song? You do indeed know this song, Mr. James. Lake Tours Tickets. This is a real good song, by the way. What the hell? Didn't expect it to be this good. day there just the two of us staring at the water oh <sighs> oh sheesh I don't think we can fix that but uh, thanks for the key, I guess. To be that key. Billy's bar key. And now I don't have any more key items. Like that was like the, the last key item that I had. What the? That was weird. <clears throat> this voice is so damn loud. <laughs> right. Healing item means that I might see some enemies soon. He came back after you left. It's fine. He didn't try anything. He just seemed sad. Mumbled something about getting out of town with someone. I wasn't going to let him drive in his condition, so I locked him out. This car should be out back. Maybe check if it's uh, still there by morning. It's the greenish blue one. Plate number ending with 06, I think. Oh, there, by Gonzalez Restaurant. Greenish blue car. How do I get there, though? Isn't this place, like, locked? Not locked, but blocked. Big open area can mean only one thing Ugh, other than a hiccup. An enemy should show up. I can't remember if there's dog enemies in this in this game. But if there are dog enemies, this seems like the perfect area to actually spawn them or like show them to me. I did hear a growl over by the forest, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's dog enemies. Oh, I'm heading over towards the area. 
I see. Greenish blue one. Oh, the crawlies. Oh, there's one back here. Where are you? Where are you? Gotcha. Next one is right here. Got it. Ending with 06. That's 08. Auto save. Never a good sign. Open door over there. Is that the way out? No, that's the way that I need to go. It's not like there's anything over here. Can I go in here? Nope. I'm going to look over this area now. Get something over here. Oh! Saw that! Character actually turned to the side. Five health drinks. I'm doing really good with health drinks. Maybe next time that I get onto like the uh it shows like it's red. Or maybe that's why it was telling me to actually break the window. Maybe there's something inside some of these cars. Can I break this window? Ah okay, I need to start checking cars now. Anything in here? Nope. I wonder if ray tracing might be making a little it a little bit more difficult to see through the cars because there's like a reflection now, like full reflection. It's like tracing everything. It's ray tracing everything. Whoa. Oh, crazy. <laughs> it's that car. Before I do that. I think it was that tarp. I was making sounds. It sounds like big, big footsteps. Big, heavy footsteps. That's kind of scary. Ew. Let me guess, this is gonna be the key to the apartment and I'm gonna need to go to the- You let go of that, let go of that! There's too many enemies, I need to get out of here. There's no way I'm fighting all of those enemies. I cannot beat all of those enemies. I wanna get destroyed. Whoa! What is going on? Woodside apartments. It is those ones. Right, I need to get out of here. I don't remember this in the normal game. This is really creeping me out. This is really, really, really not good. I do remember that the game can turn into like nighttime or something, but I don't remember wind on this level. Or there being so many enemies on the way over there. I mean, I don't remember much of the game anyway, so I don't know. Sheesh. Am I close? I am. Run. That branch scared the hell out of me. Jesus. Is it still behind me? I don't know. Nice and cozy, yeah. Not for long, though. Gosh. I think I need to go to the toilet after that one. <laughs> I really did not like that. I've never been in a storm that big, so it's kind of scary to see it even in the game. The sound that it makes, the whistling, everything just like flying around. Woodside Apartments, first floor. Collected Woodside Apartments, second floor as well. Next map. And third floor. Fourth floor? No. Okay. Alright. I don't do I do not know where I need to go. But there might be a, a clue in here. Maybe a key of some sort. Just a save point though. Can I use it though? Is 
I've been playing this game for one hour. It doesn't feel like it's been one hour. An hour and 30 minutes. In a second. There we go. This game has a lot of cutscenes. <laughs> Three bright cones in five holes B. Oh, I guess I'll read it in a second. So this is going to be the next big puzzle. I need to find all the things. All of the magjiggies. Three bright coins in the five holes B. First sits in the maiden underneath the tree. Probably this one. The wind from behind the maiden doth blow. A beautiful flower alone has to grow. Probably right here, one of these two. And here comes the man, so sleek and so fine. In the pale moonlight, his eyes doth shine. Over here, perhaps? I think I got an idea of what to do with this puzzle. Still. Coin cabinet. I do not know where I need to go. I guess start start exploring, but maybe you can start exploring after you know you give me a flashlight. This is really dark. Oh, more health drinks. Dear Madame, in response to your complaint regarding the gunshots coming from apartment 217, we have paid a visit to the tenant and he assured us that he does not own any firearms. He was fully cooperative and granted us access to the apartment. True to his words, we did not find any weapons or traces of using one. Should the noises persist, please inform the janitor. Sincerely, Woodside Apartments Administration. I keep forgetting. Flip it. There we go. Can I go out here? Nope. Apartment 217 should be on oh, the market with a question mark. That's nice of him. I'm going to look on the other side. Might find something over here. Like an enemy. I hear it back there. What was that? Handgun ammo. I've been getting a lot of handgun ammo, so I'm guessing that I'm going to get the handgun from 217. Can I go through this door, though? I cannot. But there's an enemy back there. Okay. So the only places that I can go, so I guess the only thing that I can do now is go upstairs. Before that, let me save on the save that, uh, that I just used. Just in case. You never know. Yeah, monster. <laughs> There's the body. You've seen these things all over the streets. You'd think that by now you just like get an idea after you know hearing their sounds. This place is probably locked. Kitty just jumped. Don't scare me like that, kitty. Locked. What about all the way up here? Locked. Hang on, Emma, though. Plus two. I should be having a lot of ammo by now. Especially since I got into the market. Which was like the optional area. Sound came from over here. Can only go towards 203, 202, and 201. Log. That was to my left. Of course. D 
the only door that is open and there's light inside. It's never a good sign. Fuck mannequins. <laughs> I hate mannequins. Anyone here? Hello? Oh, oh, jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nothing. You can't dodge. Oh. Where you at? What the hell? That hurts. Sheesh. Yep, that is one health state. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, medical health drinks mildly effective means a single health state syringe, which is highly effective means two health states. So now I take another one and I'm full hit health. Okay, that was pretty good. That's a good test. That's a good test. Want to get one back? These enemies are going to be really tough. Really, really tough. Okay. Shoot. Shoot courtyard key. It's closed. Mary's? I'm going to guess that they look like Mary's clothes. Fucking mannequins, man. Seriously. Mm, previous map. Coin cabinet. Okay. Check back here. Maybe we can open 201. That's a coin. I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna need to get in there at one point. And, uh, well, of course, because it has like a keyhole. And in there, I'm gonna be able to find one of the coins. This is probably not the courtyard shoot. Yeah, I have to go downstairs. But now the enemies are here. The enemies spawned. It's going to be a pain. I'm going to save. going to save here because I already fought an enemy and I actually took a couple of hits. Or George shoot. Guessing it's to hell. Damn. This ain't going to hell yet though. It's closed. Are we over here then? Is it this one? Yeah. Hello? Any enemies around here? Locked, of course. I expect no less from Silent Hill doors. Everything being literally blocked. Can I go in here though? Nope. Hmm. Okay, only one way to go. To that window. Uh. Okay, there we go. That's the wrong button. What game have I been playing that uses circle as interact? Seriously. One twelve, and there's an enemy in here. Where is it though? Oh, my phone's running out of battery. Uh. 
we go. There we go. Inside that room, outside or inside this room are the options. Not inside this room. Hang on, Emma. Okay, then it's out here. Okay, okay, okay. It's not one of those enemies. What the? Screw you. This way is blocked. I hear something. Mm. Okay. Ugh. So way towards the right. There's a wall though. I see a full corridor over there. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm exploring. Locked. I do not hear the radio acting up, so I might be safe. This opens up a shortcut. Okay, that's good. Oh, I know this cutscene. I've seen this cutscene. I remember it. Yep. Hey, wait. Damn it. Yeah, pretty screwed up. If a kid just shows up, kicks what you're trying to get, and then steps on you. But uh, yeah, I do remember that cutscene. I remember like, that kid showing up uh, on the original. I cannot remember what the kid is, or why she's here, or why she's being. Well, mean. Only one way to go in here. Nothing in there. Nothing in here. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Do I need to start timing my dodges? I do think. Oh, screw these enemies, man. They're gonna be the death of me. I need my gun. I need a gun. ASAP. Hangan ammo? Where's the damn hangan man? I need it. I'm getting completely destroyed by these things. That's so annoying. So strong. They hit really hard. I had like six. What's gonna call it? I had like six energy drinks. Now I have two. This isn't good though. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see what I need to do now. Since I found the key over here, now I need to go around this way and go and grab the key. An enemy better not show up right here from that window. <sighs> Crap. Oh, that door was closed. That's why I couldn't get that key. Save real quick just in case there's an enemy. 
talking about enemies. That's a lot of enemies. Shit. That's not good. Where? In here? It is in there. Need to get ready. Okay. <laughs> Second floor. Second floor hallway key. I think I heard an enemy in here. But I really, really, really need to loot. I need to find more energy drinks. In Insane Blumen, Opus 82.3, Robert Schumann. No idea what that means. I don't know how to play a single instrument. Quite the and quite the problem for the parent. Good luck cleaning that out. Jeez. Oh, nice. I really need those. Think more, please. Okay, you are very, very generous at the market. Do you mind being generous again? And giving me more stuff? I really need it. definitely out there I don't want it to sneak up on me anything over here nothing I don't know why but I feel the need to whisper whenever there's like enemies around <laughs> makes me feel safe it gets coming closer oh Really can't open a single one of these cabinets? What if there's a energy drink in one of those? Come on. Let me at him. You see puzzle, I guess. Golden apple handle. Huh. Well, good thing I came in here and grabbed that. Okay, that was good. Today I learned that I can actually sneak up on enemies. There's another one in here. Oh, it's a bug. All right, that's fine. What the? Get down here! What the, what the hell? Oh, there's another one. Sheesh. Hit these little critters. Energy drinks? Please tell me there's some energy drinks. I need some. Please deliver this to Miss Smiley from 102. I'm really worried about her. She's been cooped up alone with his belongings for days on end. She won't even move move them, and God forbid anyone else touch anything. It's breaking my heart just thinking about him. Hmm, 102. Not even a marking, huh? I guess that place isn't really that important. Nothing. Crap. Crap, I only got some handgun ammo. Gotta find a bunch of enemies over there as well. All oh, these are locked, okay. Save.
Okay, and now I want to try to sneak up to at the very least one of these enemies. I don't see them anymore. I'm going to wait down here. I'm sure the enemy will probably end up walking up. And then I can kill it by hitting it in the back. I can barely see it. It's coming closer. Come on. Come on. Shit. Did the other one also aggro? If the other one aggroed, that's really bad. I think it did. Got it. That was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Okay, now I can deal with the other one. Full on gamer lean for that one. I don't want to take much more damage. Hi. That was close. Nice. Quiet. All right, they were talking about 102. Something happening here. Come on, at the very least, anything, please. A note, something. At least you can give me a note, right? Jeez. Valentine's Day. Four. Seems important. <gasps> Not a strange. Damn it. <laughs> um anything else? So I came in here, I got a number, and I got the number four, and that's it. I wonder if it's because I'm on hard mode. Or if normally they only give you one thing, or maybe this is just like randomly generated and I just completely, I got completely screwed and only got one item. Can I do anything down here other than save? I definitely should save. I did a lot and it took like zero damage. So it's very, very important that I save. Save it here. So I took zero damage. Give me a second. Okay. Actually, this is like the perfect time for me to get to take a toilet break. So, I'm a BRB.
All right, perfect. I don't know why, but when the mic was like muted, it seemed like it was picking up some sort of like audio. I don't even know what it was. Kind of creepy if you ask me. All right, uh, is the game resume? So. I'm supposed to check on 201, and I apparently got the key for that little hallway on the second floor. So I need to check both of those things out. I'm not going to open that way yet, just in case there's enemies, so I can calmly, uh, can calmly look over here. I looted this area already, right? Yeah, this is where I got the light. Flashlight. I don't have anything for this, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so it's telling me that there's something in there. And I need to find the key and, well, you know, open the door and check what's going on there. Okay. And this. And now it's time to be wary of enemies. Talking about enemies. Four. Five. Six. If he comes back up, then yeah, it is impossible to kill enemies. If they're laying down, you need to wait until they actually come back up. Come back to life. What is that sound? Um... Hello? I don't think I like that sound. And I think I heard an enemy. I hear the radio. It's gonna be right around this corner. Oh. It's time, really? Fuck. Hey there, Pyramid Head. Nice to meet you. It's rumbling so flipping much. I'm gonna walk towards Pyramid Head in a minute. I kind of want to loot this area just in case, you know, it tries to attack me. Try to open locked doors. Wait, I just noticed. The radio sound? The radio sound is on my controller. Can you guys hear this? Has it always been like that? It's It's been in game um, until now, right? What is this? Probably another memory from uh, the original game. Maybe there was something there on the original game, but I can't remember. I can't remember much from this area. Can go to 217 through here. I think I should get closer to the py pyramid head. All right, wish me luck. I hope it doesn't try to kill me. That is so unsettling, man. I do not like this at all. It's just standing there looking at me. That is so unsettling. I saw an interact button. And also the radio sound is only on the controller for some reason, which is kind of weird. Can't 
to open it from this side either. On uh, the ongoing renovation works, tenants are asked to keep out of the third floor of the building, sincerely the Woodside Department Administration. I need to break that. Alright, time to go get the gun. I'm gonna guess that the gun is on 217 to 14. 216 215 or first check the cabinets hang on ammo more hang on ammo This is what they were talking about. There are bullet hole holes in here. A lot of bullet. Holy god damn. Yo, how much ammo did this guy have? Holy. Not gonna grab that yet in case it spawns an enemy. All right, grabbing it now. Hold to aim and then shoot. 15 bullets. Uh. I need to risk it. Oh, okay, good. So if I aim, I use the bullets. And if I'm not aiming, I use the plank. Good to know. Um, This didn't really do much, though. Hello? Is there anything else? A key? Or do I just need to go to that area that's, like, marked? Oh, I need to shoot. Uh... Hey, I need to shoot the keypad. That's what the game is trying to tell me. Uh, no, I guess I just shoot it like this. Oh, that was a waste. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Hello? You're okay? Lady? Ma'am? Sir? Yeah, that person's pretty dead. I'm very dead. But is there nothing that I can interact with? Oh, here. 212. Which is... Where does it go? Does it go across? I think it goes across. Towards Pyramid Head. Is this a door? It is a door. Controller's not making radio sounds, which means it is no longer there. Making sure there's nothing behind me. Oh, I do hear something over there, though. An enemy of some sort. Sheesh. So many sounds. Energy drink. Thank you so much. I need more. The enemy that I'm hearing is probably on the courtyard. So I shouldn't worry about it yet. Uh, am I supposed to do something here? Doesn't look like it. Maybe one of the difficulty, other difficulty modes, there's like loot there. An energy drink or something. Ammo, perhaps. Yeah, it's no good. Oh! Uh, yeah, give me a second. <laughs> OK. 
Give me a minute. There we go. Should I just try to shoot this guy? Maybe it'd be good to actually shoot it. Just so I can find out how many bullets it takes to kill it. <laughs> what the? One, two, three, four. Four bullets. And again, two back. I still hear the sound of the radio. I'm guessing that if it's from the controller. Fuck that TV, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that if it's from the uh, from my controller, it might be Pyramid Head. Standing right here. That's blocked. Can't get into 211. 219, probably gotta get all the way around. It's one of these enemies. Does that enemy have balls? I think I just saw it have some balls. Finding this sort of enemies in such a small corridor is not nice. It's very scary because uh, ever since I fought that other enemy and it actually ended up hitting me, even though I already had dodged the cat attacks because I pressed R2 and it did the melee attack. I can't switch shoulders, can I? Let me get closer, 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 let me get closer. Nice! Didn't have to wait with anything for that guy. It's pretty good. What is this? A shortcut. I already gone through this. Yeah, I have. It's that area that I haven't gone through. All right. Anything up here, though? Nothing at all. Good to know. Still an enemy to the right, though. Yeah, right in here. All right. Wait, that thing's moving. What? You are not supposed to be alive, little guy. What the hell? Maybe I need to step on it a little bit more. It's just one of them. I can't deal with both of them at the same time. <sighs> How many syringes do I have? One. I need to use it. I 
feels like I'm running out of ammo way too fast. I know there's boss fights in this game, so I don't really want to use that much of my ammo. But the game is really, really, really trying its hardest to try to force me and use it. Oh, well, at the very least, I got my ammo back with that. That's four ammo. Yeesh. I can go into 208, and I can probably open this little, like, way through the corridor or through the hall hallway if I go this way. Should probably do that. Now will lead me into 205, so I'm guessing that there's a blockade between 206 and 205. Oh, yeah, there is. It's this one right here. Anyone home? The fact that those enemies that are like punch you that are only like limbs that uh you can't actually detect them with the radio is really really bad. Because they could one could be right around this corner. And I wouldn't be able to tell until I go around the corner. You must think I'm cruel, but this prison of, uh, is of your own making. The choice was yours. I watched you make it over and over and over again. This time it's not going to be any different, and I'll be there, watching. Okay. Uh... Kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh lord. <sighs> right where the rooftop spears through the night, left our home bound footprints with no owner inside. But has he found home? Oh, please pray tell. For a river of memory is leading right to his hell. I beg of you, please don't be a time puzzle. Or I need to solve it before time runs out. What the? Okay, I see what I need to do. Seven. What is this? No items. Can I look through the hole though? Nope. Four? Five? I see numbers. I definitely see numbers, but... There has to be a connection between them. The roof. Maybe there's something on the roof? No. It's not that I can see. Is this the hint? Right where the rooftop peers through the night, left our home and footprints with no owner inside, but he has has he found home, oh please pray tell, or a river of memories leading right to his cell. Maybe rooftop footprints home river. I mean, I do see the seven next to a home and footprints. Maybe there's something on the bottom. Did I see another interactable? I did not. River. Seven? Seven, seven? Ah, sheesh. This is probably going to be a tough one. And it's going to take a while. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. I see, I get it now. We got to look for things that show up in the light. Nothing over here. 
the job if I'm close enough doesn't. I mean, it looks like areas where there might be like holes, like nothing is drawn on them. Is that it? No, that ain't it. That also ain't it. Okay, then what about this wall? Maybe up on the roof? Ah! 13! Found another one. So 7, 77, 13. I need one more. Come on. Seven seventy seven thirteen. Oops. Rooftops pierced through the night. So I have found footprints, home, and river. Pierce through the night. I would have, have I would have guessed that it's like right here. But it isn't there. Where is it? Oh maybe it's only three. Maybe it's only three. And maybe rooftop pierce through the night is the hint to use the light? Alright, then it's footprints. Home River. Seven, thirteen, seventy-seven. Thirteen, seven, 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 seven. Reset. Um, what do I do? This is a seven. This is a thirteen. What is this? Eleven. Thirteen. No. What if it's this way? Nope. Thirteen. Seven. Eleven. No. I can brute force this. I can easily brute force this. But I do not want to. Seven. Eleven. This thing turns off every now and then. Where was that? Right? Could it be? No. 
I am missing something here. How does this disappear? Mm. This is bad. This is bad. It's going to take me a while. Come on. I'm missing one number. I have to be missing one number. I still don't know what that is. It has to be 11, right? In a second. Where the rooftop pierces through the night. Has to be something on the roof. Right where the rooftop pierced through the night, left our home abound footprints with no owner inside, but has he found home, oh priest tell. Or river of memories leading right to his hell. Anything in here? Ew. Muddy didn't flush. River has to be last. It is that. I was having such a tough time. Was it going wrong with the? Uh, was it just doing the uh, the numbers wrong? Like was it going like left and right wrong? This is probably the man. Here's the key. Coin man, steel key. Okay, let's go through this door. There we go. Oh shit. There's a room close by, so the enemy's probably coming from that room. Okay. Oh no, the enemy's right here. Oh wait, it's a creepy crawly. I want to open this door first, though, just in case I need to run. Okay. Two and last one. There we go. Oh, I know what the key goes. Small staircase key. Yeah. Health drink. Five. Nothing in there. Some handgun ammo. Three. That's actually really good. Uh, now I can go down there. Should I go and save? Where does this lead to, though? Have I gone in here before? I have. It's a happy birthday room. 
So he's just telling me to go to the small staircase. What time is it? Let me check something real quick. Okay. I hear steps. I'll kill this enemy first. Ow! Nice. Okay, when... When the flashlight blinked, I got really, really scared. I thought there was an enemy behind me and I panicked. Luckily, that hit didn't take me down a held state. Should I go over there? I'll be going over to that side. And there isn't... There's a lot to do over there. I'm not sure. I think if I go over there, I'll end up progressing way too much and I won't be able to actually come back. Plus, also, Pyramid Head is on the loose. So, if... I... I don't remember when you end up fighting him for the first time. Uh, but if, if for some reason the first pyramid head ends up being on this area, then I might just like be screwed because I'm going to have to do like a lot on that area and I won't be able to actually take a break or like leave. And I do need to leave soon, soon TM. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm coming down here, I'm opening this door, and I'm going to be placing the coin. Um, The man so sleek so fine in the pale moonlight, his eyes not shine. It's probably here, right below the moonlight. And then the next one is going to be over here, and then it says that uh, the winner from behind the maiden. So I'm going to guess that the maiden, maiden is going to be looking towards one side, either towards here or towards this side. And I'm going to place the uh, wind behind it where it's not looking and that's how uh, I'm gonna solve this puzzle but so far I think that spot for the man is perfect just making sure there's nothing inside that TV but yeah I think I'm gonna end it here where is it eastern southern veil okay I think the game is getting like, or like I'm getting much, much better at like running around the game now that I have a handgun. And the only thing that's actually screwing me up a lot are the uh, the new enemies that actually attack you and dodge you. Those guys are damn tough because the uh, for the ones that spit, you can actually the moment that they start their attack animation, you can dodge, but the other ones like hold their attack or do like a feint. And when they do that, uh. And if you dodge early, they're going to end up hitting you. So you need to dodge right on time in order to be able to do something. You need to have a perfect dodge. Um, and yeah, the game is not being very forgiving about it. I could kill them with bullets, but it takes four bullets to kill them. And it's getting really, really, really tough to, to like get bullets. Right, right now I have 17, so that means I'll only be able to kill uh, 27 five six but only be able to kill six of them now like i mentioned before i do know little bits and pieces of this game from the original and on the original there are boss fights if i remember correctly or i might be thinking of another silent hill game because i for example i remember that on silent hill the room i think that's silent hill 4 there are boss fights and there's a couple of boss fights in the game and you need to like fight the bosses and kill them and do well on those fights in order to be able to get like the good ending if i remember correctly and i'm not sure how it's going to be working for this game i do know that there are different different endings because uh there's this really popular ending that everybody always talks about which is the ufo ending and i'm gonna guess that that ending is in this game so 
Uh, I do want to try to get at the very least a positive ending on this game. If I get a bad ending on my first run, I'm going to be a sad little guy. <laughs> Not kidding. I'm going to be kind of sad about it. So I'm going to try my best to explore as much as I can and to understand what's going on with the game and get the good ending. Hopefully, I'll be able to get the good ending. There's uh, no promises, though. Uh, I think I might just end up getting like one of the most basic, either the basic ending, basic bitch, or I'm going to get a bad ending. Uh, but I'll try my best to actually do literally anything in this game and not have it end really, really badly. And so with that, I think I'm going to end today. Um, I'm going to try to play this a lot throughout the week just so I can finish this game because like I mentioned before, uh, the, the people that I often support are going to be playing this game and I want to be there to support them in chat either by giving them, I don't know, like hints whenever they need it. But like I said, I want them to be able to finish the puzzles by themselves and uh, feel proud of it because on games like this where there's like a bunch of puzzle puzzles it feels really good when you're able to just like get uh understand the puzzle the essence of the puzzle and then uh finish it by yourself like for example when i was doing that room puzzle and i was able to actually just like understand like oh i need to shine the light on this and then uh, oh the the shapes are uh have to like put them on in the order of uh of that little like poem that they had and then the uh the safe will actually open up and then I got the puzzle done. It just feels really good. And these people that I watch don't often play like games that are out of like their their comfort zone. And currently they're just like getting out of like their comfort zone. And Silent Hill 2 is like one of those games that can be really, really difficult as a first time gamer because of the puzzles, because of like the uh, the combat system that they have. For example, that that enemy that you need to perfect dodge. I don't know how it's going to be on the easier difficulties, but I'm, I'm hoping that it's actually really, really forgiving with the dodges and yeah that's pretty much it i'm just like gonna try my best to actually finish this game that will mean that i ha I'd have finished like a spooky game at the very least on october even though i wanted to play alan wake 2 um i might have to wait a little bit more to play it like uh i might have to put alan wake 2 on like the uh, the slot or like uh, schedule it as uh, on the same slot that i was planning on playing silent hill 2 because i'm playing this one this game early I wanted to wait at the very least until December to buy this game as well because I wanted to buy it on sale at the very least like a 10% sale because this game is kind of expensive. It's like a full game and it's like a $70 game, sort of like $60 game. But uh, yeah, with that being said, um, for anybody that comes by, for anybody that checks the bot, Arrow and Ghost that came by and said hi. Arrow's always like really, really nice and throws out a lot of, a lot of like... Uh, really cute emotes and me i'm really really thankful for that um thank you for coming by i'm gonna be ending it here on three hours and i'm probably halfway done the woodside apartment uh maybe next time maybe tomorrow perhaps or tuesday uh, i shouldn't be having that much work this week so i should be very very free to like stream throughout the week Maybe I can finish this game and then get back to Black Myth Wukong. I also need to uh, watch we'll call it. I need to watch the update program for the DCC um, because next week is actually the last week for the current update, which is I think it's 1.2. And then on Tuesday, let me check the calendar. On November 5, the next update is going to come out. So I want to be able to watch at the very least the trailer until then. I really held myself off on watching that trailer because uh, while I was at work, I had a, on Thursday, uh, I had a lot of free time at work and I kept like checking stuff on my phone, on Twitter and stuff like that uh, to like distract myself because I'm, I get really, really bored. And um, I saw the update trailer like a lot either uh, on Twitter and on YouTube, and I really, really wanted to watch it, but I'm just going to hold off. Um, but yeah, for the people that came by, anybody that checks the bots and stuff like that, and for anybody that I can actually just like handle me playing this game, like doing all the exploration, fighting all the enemies, because they probably didn't need to fight all the enemies, and, and they ended up fighting, fighting at the release most of the enemies. When that big like windstorm uh, was happening outside and I needed to run to the woodside apartments, I didn't fight any of the enemies, but I think that's because uh, the game really wanted me to not fight them all. 
Like, there were, like, three enemies at the same time, maybe even four at the same time, just, like, showing up on the streets. And I think uh, they pro uh, they did their best to just, like, have this, like, sense of ur or urgency placed onto the player so that they wouldn't end up fighting the enemies. Uh, plus, to make it seem very, very dangerous uh, to fight the enemies. Because even if I try to fight, out fight all the enemies, it's not that they can drop any items. They're not necromorphs, where I'm just going to beat them up, and then I'm going to step on them, and suddenly, boop! And what's gonna pull out come out or maybe credits but uh, yeah uh, this game is very different and hmm, i think i'm doing pretty well right now at the game i got some good ammo i have an idea that there are bosses in the game and that i have to save my ammo to be able to fight them like for example pyramid head i know you fight pyramid head at one point in time on the original silent hill 2 i do not know what's going to happen on this silent hill and so far there are a lot of differences in this game uh the place where you get your first weapon is very very different the path that you take is very very different and i think uh inside of the apartments there was like another spot that is really uh that is different from the game where i uh the spot where i looked at the wall and then it did, did like a sound like a, a tv static i think something on the original game i think something happened there but it is different on the remake so i do not know what to expect in this game uh, since they're changing things up like the, the general idea of the game is still there just like so looking for somebody fighting enemies with like melee weapons and then getting ammo and then doing this like whole survival horror uh, resource management um sorry i wanted to heck up for a second but it didn't come out there we go um oh yeah i actually lost my train of thought <laughs> Uh, just so I don't get lost again in my Japanese, I'm just gonna say just like once again, thanks everyone. I'm about to hit the three hour mark. Uh, so yeah, see you guys next time. Perhaps next week. Perhaps on Monday. Perhaps on Tuesday. Perhaps I don't know. One of these days. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.